Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today we are going to uh, do a little bit of stuff on... I've worked out a few things. A few good things. Oh, read mail. This is going to be about the Winter Fair. Yeah. Winter Fair 17th to the 21st. Ooh, I was already kind of aware of that because we were a bit worried last time that I might have missed it. It's a snowy day today. I... I doubt there'll be any fish or I will I'll always look for any new fish or bugs. I very much doubt. Um, the dig site, apparently. That's one thing I was wanting to look up about. Uh, apparently that's a different dig site to the dig site that I have up by the mines. So that's a thing. So something will unlock when I catch that final fish. Wonderful. Hey, Lindy. Looking happy today, apparently. So let's have a look at the fish forecast. Really quickly go through it. Just make sure there's no new dudes that have popped up for the second half of the month or anything like that. Doesn't look like. The hamster running my computer is struggling to bring these up, but it's fine. Have to wait just a second, each one. Apparently a 3070 is just like garbage nowadays, isn't it? It's old computer territory. Anyway, it took me long enough to pay off this computer. I don't want to buy a new one. Right, so anyway. Could upgrade oh could upgrade the graphics card alone though, couldn't I? Or upgrade some of the RAM or something, maybe. Alright, so we've got like not very much money at the moment. We're building up a bit of a stock of money because we recently got automation going. I'm very excited about this. I need to rearrange things because of something I have uh, remembered slash learned, and that's butter. I will explain more in a minute. We got plenty of hay last time from Jack, so that is very helpful. Excuse me, I'm mega thirsty today. I don't know why. Then, let's go get our milk and stuff. The problem I've got at the moment is I've got an inventory full of kegs and all sorts, but uh, we'll soon fix that. Just milk today. That is fine as well. We'll eventually get you guys an auto feeder and a silo up and running. It's not a big one on my list, but it's one. It's like down there with thing, things like um, <sighs> upgrading my watering can and stuff, and decorating the farm. That that's where that sort of thing lies. Right. So we've got the these tiny conveyor belts at the moment. I'd like to get them bigger, obviously. But what I want to do is uh, obviously putting milk in here. The milk might go into the mason jars and make butter rather than going into the cheese press. <laughs> Excuse me. I drank fizzy drinks and now I have <laughs> hiccups a little bit. Um, 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 cheese press, right. So the cheese presses to either side here. But part of me is thinking I might not need to. Um, the oil maker, I don't think that truffles are used for particularly anything. So the oil maker could actually be moved on to here. Onto this conveyor section. Along with the loom and the... So I'm trying to make um, osmium at the moment so that I can get more of these things going. Along with the loom. I'll take the cloths and we can pick up the loom. Put the loom on the other side there. So oil won't go into the mason jars, so that's fine. I don't know, I could even have the whole thing in a big round loop and take the mason jars away. 
I am tempted by that, but at the moment I'll just stick to the plan. So that's the plan with that one. Then I do really want all of the all of that and the, the compost and the scrap on one loop. So I can just put rubbish into those, uh, trash into those. So how about we, we could even just put them back a little bit, couldn't we? Because I could put the recyclers up here. I've got room to move around them. So I'm just getting everything into position to just work. Um, as soon as we get that done and then now the glass making machine I think needs to stay where it is the dehydrators could definitely move on to a line if I find things that aren't doing much then I will put less in a row there. Uh, so how about the dehydrators come up here? Could just have one dehydrator even. I don't think we're going to need two because in fact I'll put away some of the stuff in here. Some of the, the, the spare machines. So like that spare dehydrator. That spare keg. I don't think I need that one. Uh, those two spare mason jars. I don't think we're going to need those either. And that mayonnaise maker. If I find I don't need them, I will sell them. So I need one, two, three four, five, six more of these chests. But I've just put everything in position for when I do need them. Um, kind of feeling like I'll definitely have that moved over. But the, the problem with the glass kiln and the aging barrels, why I'm going to keep those separate, is that the glass kiln will just take any scrap. and make it into glass, even if I don't really want that to happen. So I'm just going to make glass as and when I need it. I've not needed a ton of it this playthrough anyway. So that can just stay and do its thing. The kelp extractor. I don't feel that that really needs to be on the loop either. I mean, the oil probably doesn't that much or the, well, the loom will, the loom definitely will. I'll need to be on the line, on my factory line. Gonna pull the cheese presses back. Where'd they go? I can I never recognise the cheese presses. So that needs to go there and that one needs to go kind of there. But for now, I'm going to put it there. I'll move it when the uh, thing is ready. Or I could move the dehydrator, actually. That's what I can do. And then the dehydrator and the furnace can sit at the back. That'll be, that'll be fine. Get the cheese presses in there. So this will just be a big old factory that just does everything. It'll be amazing. So I need one, two, three, four, yeah, six more. When that's ready, it'll move into place there. I may move the kiln actually. So 
it's going to move it's going to make like wood into charcoal and all sorts of things that i don't really want right now this second so i feel like that can go over here maybe aging barrels i'm going to move them but probably move them a bit later and move them down a bit i could make an entire factory just for like the aging barrels I don't know whether they really work with it, but they take so long and need so little maintenance that I don't think that that's something that I really need to worry about too much. Um, unless I had a very, very lot of them. And in that case, I might want them in a different shed on their own on their own line. I think probably two lines per shed is probably uh, enough, to be honest. So how many more can I make, if any? I can definitely make one more. So that would be good for... Yeah, let's get that going for the scrap. Because I'm desperate to get the scrap going and working and stuff. So, let's have a look at these chests. So we've got six bell pepper juice and some coffee in there. I could sell or keep or whatever, but I'm just going to leave them in there for now. There's plenty of space, seemingly. And if I look at the one at the top... Oh, it looks like... Ah, okay. The storage across the whole belt is the same. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. I'm going to grab all the garbage. And we're going to put that in the... Processor slash... Compost line. But we're mostly going to want to make scrap to start with. Let's get all that in there. It'll take a while to process. I'll probably be able to make another one before before that. So let's see, can I make another one? Is the question. No, because we're still not got enough Ultimium bars. So let's put some more on. No. Ooh. Yeah, okay, for now. Until we've got more Ultimium bars, let's do that. I think I need some coal. It doesn't quite look as pretty, but it's definitely uh, going to be more efficient. Hmm, I've definitely got coal. Or did I not somehow pick up? Probably somehow managed not to pick up the coal. You know what I'm like. Gold ore. Where's the coal then? I've lost all my coal. Oh, that's what I did with it. That was not the smartest thing I could have done. Pick one fermented goat's cheese. See, not having to take things in and out of the barrels would be quite useful, to be honest with you. But part of me is thinking, like, I could take the mason jars away. And do you know why? Because mason jars... I'm going to take the auto chests away from there, then. Um, put them where they might be needed more. I'll take all of the items out of the chests to dislodge it. This could be interesting. Oh, how do I transfer? Because I was thinking juices sell for a lot more than pickles. And there's not many things that pickle but don't juice. I think there might be some. So I'll just wait for those mason jars to process what they've got in them already. Or do I need to? Nah, I don't care. I don't care. Can I, can I? Oh, don't take away the compost bin. That wasn't what I was trying to do at all. No, it won't let me. I have to wait for it to process then. But what I can do then is use one of the auto chests from here for the scrap making part of it and the, and the compost making parts. I think that would be a really good place to have a second chest. 
There we are, so they can all fill up. That is not a compost maker, that is a dehydrator. What's that doing there? Shouldn't be there. Right then. Dehydrator it needs to be on this loop. And then the furnace needs to be there as well. I'll take the mason jars away. And then what I might do is have like loom and, and all of that stuff just on. Or maybe I'll put the, the furnace onto this one with all the scrap and everything like that. I might go down to two kegs. I definitely only need one dehydrator. I might only need, I'm probably actually thinking about it, I'm going to need one mayonnaise machine. I don't think I'll need two. And I don't think I'm going to need two cheese presses either. Not with it being automated, because half of the time the reason I need two is because I can only put one in at once. And I forget to go in and, and check it again later. Oh, come on. Inventory's full. Oh, okay. That explains a lot. So I need a veggie chest that's not completely full. We'll put all the carrots and okra back in. Still just spending a lot of time arranging this, so you must forgive me for that. I have a strong suspicion I'm not going to need two ju uh, all those juices either. And it's getting late already. What? I came into this shed and then just didn't make it out again. Wow. So yeah, we need to wait for these guys to finish. Then I'm going to take them away. I'm going to have one cheese press. We'll go to bed actually and I'll do it in the morning. I'll have one cheese press. One of everything except for maybe two juices and and that'll and no mason jars. And if I find the mason jars are required, I will pop them back down. I'll keep I'll keep all the machines. We'll not worry about that. Uh, anything to sell? A few pickles and a big old cheese wheel. Oh, and some uh, large wool cloth. Taking a bit to set this up, but once I have, it's going to be totally set and forget it. It'll be like chuck everything in the chest and run away. Oh, relationship increase with Lindy. Wonderful. There is a festival running today. Consider checking it out. My house got... Oh, my house upgrade happened! Woo! I have an, a, a staircase now, look. Up to, like, a, basically a little bedroom. So I'm guessing rooms for children. Oh, look, I added it at level, level four. Level, yeah, level four. So I probably want to take my bed and stuff up the stairs and maybe make this into, like, a living room or something. But I've got bigger and better things to do today, so first thing I'll do is I'll check the computer and we'll do a uh, fish forecast and just check that nothing is decided to pop in and surprise us today. I did figure out why there was differences in the numbers. And it's because some things are showing up in my journal because I've discovered them, but I've not donated them. So I may have given them to the goddess altar or accidentally sold them or whatever. So there's a couple of ones, uh, namely the yellow moray. So when that came around for its two seconds last summer or whatever it was, um, I just donated it to the goddess. And the same with the, sea, the giant sea bass. And those two were quite hard to catch with the rod I had at the time, I think I remember. So I was just feeling very lucky that I'd even gotten them for the goddess. Uh, where are we? 
I've forgotten what I've checked and what I haven't, but I think I checked all down that side. No, I don't think there's anything new. And insect wise, probably not either. It's clearly a nice day because of the level, the, the sort of sheer amount of insects that are at the moment, but they're all ones that I've taken pains to catch in the past. So that is fine. That is lovely, in fact. So I'm just going to finish off what I was doing yesterday in the shed. And then hopefully it should just be a case of dump things in and they're ready for me, basically. So I should just constantly be having... Oh, my composter. Right, so put the composter back down. Let's start making some compost. So all this trash is like slowly being processed. I've already got 66 scraps out there. Wonderful. We're waiting for the mason jars just to finish their their job and then we'll take them away. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to have one cheese wheel. One cheese maker. I'm going to put it at the front here. So we're going to have oil, loom, cheese. Cheese and other stuff. And then I'll have, um, I might move the scrap stuff, like, down a little bit, or the kegs up a little bit, or something. I don't really know what I'm going to do there, actually. And once the osmium is made in there, I'll move the furnace down and I'll get that done. But I need, I need more auto chests at the moment for that to work, so... Uh, I need one auto chest for the cheese and the mayonnaise. Okay, and then I need one auto chest for the loom and the oil. If I can. Loom and oil. And I may, if I if I upgrade the amount of stuff that's going on in the farm, I may try and make more kegs. And what I may then have is uh, three lines. I may have one line for animal produce, one line for scrap. Although I may reduce down the scrap line once I've sort of got a little bit of scrap done. Uh, I might just have one scrap and one, uh, one uh, compost. And just have it making compost like the whole time. Um, so can I make another one? Yes. So this one here will be for the loom and the oil maker. That one needs to come up. Kind of feel like the furnace, like uh, kind of needs to be in the sort of scrap one and I kind of feel maybe like the the loom and the oil maker need to be in this one could do that actually could just have a whole scrap line yeah okay let's move them over they could go behind I told you it would take a little while to it took me long enough to arrange this shed in the first place, so. I'll pop another one on the conveyor belt line. And I'm going to put a loom on it. And we're going to put... Oil maker on it. So that's our conveyor belt at the moment. And... Looks like there was something in there, I'm not sure. Right, so now I know that that's what that's going to be, I will just fill it with stuff to juice, if I can. And if anything doesn't juice, then I will do something else with it, I guess. I may I may set up a mason, uh, a mason jar line down the line later. Got a second mayonnaise machine there, so I've got spare kegs. Spare dehydrate. Oh no, I need the dehydrator. I need at least one to be in a line somewhere. For now though, I'm just going to pop it down there next to the extractor. You can just 
stay there for whenever it's needed. And if I pull these forward, I should then be able to put things along the back again. Now I've got an idea of exactly what I want. Right, so any, like, eggs, milk. I will need to go. There's an egg look. There's things going along to the juicers. Egg going to the mayonnaise machine. Wheel gone a, a wheel of cheese gone on. Second egg, so it's sorting it all nicely. Okay. So let's get all the cotton and the llama wool in. Probably enough for it to be dealing with for the for the moment. I don't know about sweet potatoes. Whether they juice or not. But what will happen is the stuff that doesn't juice will end up... Now then, I want to keep cauliflower. I know there was a fruit that I particularly needed to keep and I've forgotten what it is. I like all the hot peppers... Basil beets, that sort of thing. They can go in. I can see what happens to them. And some of them will and some of them won't, I guess. Got loads of bell pepper juice right now. Uh, nothing else is juiced yet. We seem to be going through the coffee beans right now. The loom has three things on it. The oil press won't have things on it for ages. Ah, the mason jars are done, I think. Which means I can get them out of the way. Just see what can and can't be juiced. I'll see what can and can't be mason jarred. But for now, we're going to take the mason jars up. And anything that's left that just can't be put in, then I'll know that that's a mason jar thing. But for now, we're just going to juice everything. Um, cheese press. Four mason jars. Okay, that's what we want at the moment. So we've got this little one of uh, scrap. So once that's there, it's hard to move it. It's very hard to like remove it. Because what I would probably want to do is put that over there. That uh... bar making machine. And we would just make all of the the ore into scrap. Oh, sorry, ore into, into bars. And that would just carry on and do its thing again. And then this would be for scrap and compost and things like that and bars that have been made just move them over here i would still keep that for sea stuff and i think i want to probably move all the tea leaves over people might ask for that for like a request but at the moment i'd rather give them presents than do a request i make enough money from other things that i don't need to do requests and um, I really can't be bothered doing requests just for the social points. I'd rather give them gifts. So that's where we stand with that one. So osmium, osmium bar there. Silver bar, coal. Batteries need to go away elsewhere. Those all need to be sold. Osmium kelp essence needs to go in there. Okay, wonderful. We've got some coffees, which I can probably just keep for... I'll sell the bell pepper juice. I'll probably just keep the coffees. 
I want to leave a good few rows though so that it can just process through all of this and then I can come in in several days time and I can be like okay I've got a new thing going on grape juice there could I just sell that rather than no I was kind of trying to keep the grape juice I'll keep that sashimi I could put juices in there just to go through the aging barrels can I make more aging barrels yet is also the question because if I could get like a little section here of aging barrels get rid of one of these to do that I'd have to run the whole system down though which is so annoying you can't I don't think get rid of it while the machine is full no you have to wait for the machine to finish So if I at all wanted to change that, I'd have to move the position of like, everything. Which is something I could do, 100%. Or just wait for it to do more, I guess. Compost and scrap is going great, so it'll probably just get through all of this eventually. And once it does, then I could add the furnace onto the line. Because at the moment, uh, having extra ones doing scrap is not is not hurting. A lot of the stuff that's uh, required is scrap. Right, I'm going to go and see my... I think I've seen my animals today, but I will double check it. But like I said, I was... Oh, you know what would be amazing? Once these are finished, I'll put an auto chest in the middle. Because uh, there's nothing to say I can't put them outside. And I could have a conveyor belt doing all of my honey related tasks. And I think that I would like to make more beehives for that as well. That would be so good. Right. What is required for making a beehive? Because we need more of them. We need a lot more of them. Because now everything's automated. I'm like, well, now I don't have to go around individually taking things out of things. I have time to do things time that I never had before <laughs> it's great and also I needing to make those uh those traps for the seabed I've got a map and everything of where I need to go where I need to put things to try and catch the blue monster uh, the blue lobster and the uh, mantis shrimp I'll try and do the blue mon why do I keep calling it a blue monster instead of a blue lobster it's a lobster monster clearly I wonder if I could get the automation to work with maple trees and they have like a maple syrup line running. That'd be hilarious. Haven't checked over here lately. Let's see if we've got any like almonds. And we do. Lovely. All the rest of them are like, no, it's winter. Because I'm pretty sure that the maple trees that I've got remaining, I can just... Anyway, that's for future. I don't have enough resources to make a maple tree farm yet maple tree automated pickup thing going on no 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 i think i came in here earlier i'll know if the food is all uh maybe not then <laughs> there's no food in here and there's an egg that i hadn't picked up so there we go But I was just desperate to get all of that running the way I wanted. And I think we we're about right. So yeah, I just didn't want the uh, milk being made into butter. That would that would have been a crying shame, really. And it's nice not to have mu have to have multiples of like mayonnaise machines and things. Just knowing that the egg will go in when the egg needs to go in. And it will fill it up with the same type of eggs and then it will just decide what to do. And then if I see any backlogs, I'll need to maybe manually put one down and just clear the backlog of it. But I would imagine that it's going to be so much more efficient than me coming in here and it's sitting there with things being done for half a day or something. Look at this, we've got a cheese wheel. We've only got the llama wool left now. Got some goat's milk there. Got some mayonnaise. I've got a cheese wheel. 
couple more bell pepper juices. Oh, this is great stuff. This is going to be amazing come summer. And like, because I, like, cause I know I've pretty much, I'm not doing quests anymore. I'm doing gifts instead. So not doing quests, doing gifts. And we've missed the first day of the festival, but we'll catch it tomorrow. That festival, there's a big thing with um, scoring. There's like a big sort of quiz thing you can do, which we might go and do tomorrow. After that, there's not a ton of mini games to do. So you've got quite a bit of time to to do the festival. I'm not worried about doing it on the first day. I was way more worried about whether I was catching fish and if the factory was up and running properly. So, <laughs> Okay. There's a festival running today. Go check it out. It just got so late. It really did. Um, batteries. I could have a battery automated thing. But that would be going a bit above and beyond, I think. So hopefully now what I need to do is in the morning, I'll just put things, I'll sell things and it'll all be good. And then I'll put, I don't know if almonds can be processed. Probably not. Like almond butter in the mason jar or something. I don't know. I could probably make a list of things that will go only go in a mason jar, but what I imagine will happen is that eventually the only things that won't get taken out will be things that can't be processed by it, and then I'll be like, hmm, what can I do with these things? Fairly certain sweet potato can be juiced. So, the question now is, is there anything I can take out of here? Yes, there's a goat's wheel. There's coffee that I could take down to the festival and give to people. There's some cotton cloth, which is wonderful. So the loom is clearly taking the cotton when the wool isn't available, which is really good. So we'll sell that. The osmium kelp needs to go back in its little place, which is not there. Oh, why do I keep opening that chest? I hate my life. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a bit over the top, I know. Um, so I've got a goat's wheel cheese. Now, what I want to ideally try and do with that is add it on to the existing... But apparently, no. That's not going to happen. So That's why I would like to see if I could get those aging barrels into a, a, a line with automatic um, in and out because I think that might be more efficient because it doesn't seem to let me add extra stuff. So I might find that it always just adds one at a time and that it's a bit inefficient. Not sure really. There's some milk there that needs to go in. There's an egg. Let me just let it do its thing. Well, that's a bit easier, isn't it? Going around each individual thing and being like, got to put it in there, then they got to put it in there, then they got to put it in there. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Keep the coffee, go give that out as presents, except for Raphael, who will get some sashimi. Solar panels are working well. Like I say, the next thing to do, I think, is to expand out the honey production because I'm getting like, I've got so many flowers and nothing to do with them. Possibly as well, putting an auto chest next to the mill would be kind of cool. Even if I just put it there and it just worked on that one mill because I am continually forgetting to put things in there. Auto chests, my friends. I love them. They're so good. Right then. Let's head to the beach. See what people are up to down there. Some shells down here to pick up. 
couple of insects. I'm not really using these traps at the moment for anything particular. Um, if I see something in particular that I think would be really cool. Ooh. Hi, have you got any good Christmas stuff? When does it start? I'm gonna check in my journal. Notes. Oh, it's not until 5 p.m. Okay. <laughs> well. Nothing to do now. I spent half my day in that shed. I really did used to spend half the day in the shed. It was awful. Beach is the ultimate chill spot. Between the waves, the birds, your mind just empties out. I kind of feel like you might like tea better than coffee, but let's try. Next time, my friend. What do you need here, farmer? Well, I was actually just going to give you a gift. Thanks a lot. Sunny. You sure? Thanks. We rarely get visitors from that part of the island. Too far to walk, I think. Yeah, that's a point. I'm sure there was something that had happened over the other side here at some point. I always like to just have a little check over here because sometimes it changes. Uh, looks pretty normal to me. Okay. There was a chest behind there, but that's been taken already. We had that before. Can I go into this is uh, Nina's house? I don't think I've ever been in here. How come my house isn't like that? How come I don't have like a grand piano in my house and stuff? I feel like a little bit cheated. Three rooms though, which is what I will eventually have, but in a different configuration. But I want, I want like marble stuff. I only have 20 grand in the bank though, and I need it for like all the auto feeders and different various kelps and things like that. Sad to be me. Oh, handsome humans around. Checking out everything. Actually, there's a fast travel point here. So yeah, we couldn't do anything until 5 p.m. That's not ideal. So I want to go and have a look at what I can do. I could go and have a look for the meany jellyfish or like a di maybe not actually because I've got lists more of ones that are hmm the pink meany is it in the oh man hiccups again the pink meany is in the 50 meter layer oh you know what I don't have Oh, I should go get it. I think it's ready. It's Thursday already. So will the beach shack be open for me to... Oh, yeah, it was. I was just there. I was just there and I didn't even pick up my bug net, which is what I've been waiting for. To go diving for all these critters, which is the only things left that I don't have. Right. That is the final thing that Sunny can upgrade for me. Now it's all up to uh, the Sanchez brothers. Who I haven't been to see either in ages. Even though I should do. Well, I see Pablo all over the place, but Raphael's being a bit of a shut-in, isn't he? So maybe we'll go and see him. Shall we go see him? I'll see him later, though. I'll see him at the festival, so let's not worry about it too much at the moment. Yeah, I don't like to do things while festivals are on. It's kind of a bit of a catch-22, that one. I really want to add the rest of the grass around the place and just make it really nice. Uh, add the re Well, in fact, I might have the stone to add the rest of the path, maybe. Maybe we could do that. 
Let me go sell all my bugs and change my headset. Which I did change this morning, which means I've got about two hours on it at the moment, clearly. And the, what I might need to do is go in and change the AAA battery inside it. So I might need to buy a new rechargeable little battery and that will give it some more battery life. But yeah, loads of bugs and shells. Scavengeable things. Keeping the coffee because they love coffee. Um, I will pick up any more coffee that has been made in the meantime because I think, I think the, the, the little factory is busy making coffee right now. How cool is this? <laughs> so cool. Some mayonnaise. I've got some more cotton cloth. It probably took three cotton cloths. It may well have, it may well be because it's going through cloth all the time and it's adding more and more and more on and and once the cloth is done it'll decide to take wool but we'll we'll see it doesn't matter as long as it's doing something probably sell those coffees that cheese wheel it's doing a brilliant job though it's already getting like way through these things So I've got some juices there. I th Yeah, that's my next factory line I want to make is uh, aging barrels. 100%. I've got all these grapes to make into juice and strawberries and blackberries and all sorts. And if I keep all those juices and age them, then they'll all be made into some kind of wine. Uh, do you know what else I haven't done in a million years is uh, taking all the fruits out of my greenhouse. Haven't been in there this whole episode, so that's... Do you see my mind freeing up? Like, because I'm not having to do stuff in the shed all the time. I'm like, oh, what else can I do? Oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I can go in my greenhouse and, like, harvest all those things. Oh! <laughs> do not consume the cheese wheel. But it's brilliant for this sort of stuff where I don't have many of them. Just put them in and it will eventually juice it all. So I could do with like a chest that's like juice chest. I am the juice chest. Throw it all in. Anything that's on those trees is re completely replaceable because, because of it is. So I may as well chuck all of those in there. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans is the one I know that I can't do. Snake fruit. When did I get a snake tree? I'm just going to keep that one back. I'm a bit interested in that one. I don't know if we can make beet juice or whether we only do pickled beets. Don't really know on that one. I'm just gonna put the avocado, the cocoa bean, and the snake fruit away. I'm not certain on those ones if they're like. Did I get? I must have gotten some kind of treat. I'm more interested in the merchant. I'm gonna be honest for the. For the festival, I'm more interested in the merchant than anything else. But that is such a relief. It gives you so much more time to do other stuff. Ugh. Despite the amount of time... I've, I've even felt that now, despite the amount of time that I've spent in there sorting it out. So from now on, it'll be even better. Okay, let's head out to the festival. We will give everybody coffee. I'll try and do the... The um, 
quiz. And maybe the... I did okay, I think, last time at the curling. The magnet and the shooting, I didn't do too great on. The pattern matching, I did all right on once I'd worked out what to do. But it was a bit of a struggle. All right then, so how about we go and do the quiz today? Plus give people coffee and stuff. And then maybe tomorrow we'll do other stuff. All right, trivia night. Okay. That chap, Takova, still run the hot spring, ain't he? he uh, might give him a visit later. See the old place again. Do you need anything? Fossil career. I struggled with that last time. I probably still will. Mosasaurus spine. I'm a spine. Gallimus? Ceratops leg? Oh, okay. Okay, Tyrannosaurus spine. Mammoth torso. <laughs> that looks like a pelvis. Plesiosaur? so bad. Let's do something that I can do better at. So, trivia, uh, fish. I've been looking at fish just lately, so that one is a yellow moray eel. That's a crab. Alpina. Fish. Golden gar. No, oh, it's a gator gar. That's annoying. That one's a crayfish. That one's a damselfish. That's a green swordfish. That's a sea cucumber. That's a frogfish. A yellow fin tuna. Oh no! How did I do? I still won 511 points. Nice. I don't really need the gold, but. Insect trivia. Oh, I got that right without even doing anything. Ooh, Birdwing? I don't know that butterfly. That's a centipede. That's a wasp. That's a snail. Cricket. Olive wing. Ah! Huh? What do you mean? Make a leaf cutter? Um, Assam. I'll try that again. I can do better than that. I thought it was an Assam. No, or maybe it's a Yucca Moth. I think it was a Yucca Moth. That's annoying. We'll try again. I'll get better ones this time. Ladybug. Uh, Orphid Mantis. Copia. Mantis. Hickory. Ah! That's a rove beetle. That's a 
that's a leaf beetle. Saddle back. So they're harpless or a soldier. That's a magnolia green jumper. No? Oh, okay. That's a scarite beetle. How do I suck that badly? Oh no. Do it again, Shelab, do it again. Ah, oh, I need the points. I don't even know what for. Let's do critters for a minute. Palette cleanser. I'll totally know these. Pom pom crab. Hermit crab. Cannonball. Weird leafy sea dragon. Upside down. Eight armed sea star. I think that is a sunflower. No, oh, it's the Brasinga then. Mo Stinger. No? Okay. Uh, Blue Lobster. I've been looking for that for ages. What are you? Gonna say Harlequin Shrimp? Pink Meanie. I'm looking for that too. I've been looking at that a lot today. Ooh. Are you a Tiger Tail? Are you a... Oh, okay. Maybe I did better. Yay! Squeaked through that one by like one point. Insects. Let's try them again. Procopia. Jeanette of no blue morpho Luna Moth Wasp Praying Mantis. Uh, maybe it was a mantis shrimp then. Um Soldier Beetle Harpless. Yucca. What? Why do I get that one wrong all the time? That's a pus moth. No, it's not. Okay. That sucks. I keep getting my butterflies mixed up, I think, and that's causing me some issues. <laughs> we'll see again. We'll do it again. This is why I need an entire day to do this. Why is that not a cricket? How oh, it's a grasshopper. Of course it is. Can I just get out of here, widow? Can't believe I've got something so simple wrong. That's a violin beetle. I've seen many, many of those ones. I'm sure that was an Assam silk moth. It must just be a moth then. Ah! <laughs> I knew what that was and I clicked on the wrong thing. <clears throat> I'm getting a bit stressed out with that now. So I'm going to move on to farm stuff. We'll come back to insects later. It just seems to be scuppering me today. Duck egg. Plum. Pepper. Banana. Uh, large duck egg. Star fruit. Pe uh, bell pepper. Bok choy. 
sugar cane. Yawn. L large llama. That is milk. Might be goat milk. It's been a while since I've seen a small goat milk, you see. Chard. Cranberry. Taro root. Mmm. Wheat. Knocked that out of the park. Dinosaur fossils are hard. Porridge. Moral. Hibiscus. Cherry. Sea mushroom. Black urchin. Blue muscle. Watercress. Ooh. Junonia shell. Ooh. Sea lettuce? That one's hard. I didn't know that one. That one's a. Ah, oh, no, it was a shiitake. It must have been. Gooseneck? Or quahog? Let's see how I did. I might have... Oh, just... They gave me really hard ones. I was flying and then they gave me really hard ones at the end. They were like, she's doing too well on this. Let's just... Let's just take her down a peg or two. Let's do artisan and then I'll come back to the ones that I haven't done well at. Honey. Goat cheese. It's a quail egg. Uh, I think it's a century quail egg. I don't know how to make century things. Um, probably put them into the aging caskets. Mason jar. Kiln. Fermented goat cheese. Gonna go with temper. Aged barley beer. No, just barley beer, I think. Quail mayonnaise. Ugh! never see the small ones. That's definitely a fermented goat cheese wheel. See those all the time. Aged coffee. Syrup. It's not maple syrup because I see that all the time. That looks like rice flour? Amaranth. Oh no, I thought amaranth was in the red bag. Um, resin. Knock that one out of the park. Let's go back and try the forage again. I think I've still got insects to do again, haven't I? Right, white hibiscus. mushroom flame scallop pansy canola mangosteen kale watercress 
uh, Junonia shell. Matsusake? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with... I don't know. I don't know what scallop that is. Um, that's a cherry stone. No. Eastern? It's the undersea stuff that I haven't gotten in ages. Oh, okay. It let me, it let me through on what I'd managed. Did really well on the above ground stuff, not so well on the underwater stuff somehow. Gem. I've already tried fossil and suck at it, so that's already a failure state. <sighs> Water. Quartz. Marble. Diamond. Mystery. Crystal. Mm. Parasite. Um. As you right. Onyx. I remember Onyx not being very, very purple. Amethyst. Paradox. Moonstone. Red Barrel. What? Okay, uh, Black Opal. Yay! I knew enough. I knew enough to squeak on through again. Like the squeaky, squeaky she up I am apparently squeaking through on everyone sure bell fan bottle beach snow globe chip jug Oh, but it was a chip jug. Um, blue mask. I have no idea. Terrarium pendant. Trisula. Anklet. Harpoon. Town model. Leather parchment. Jade locket. Oh, we're done. Okay. That was good. That was fine. I did that. That's cool. Fossils. Fossils are always hard. Worth it. It's five hundred coins every every one you get. You're allowed as many times as you want, so worth a try. It's not Velociraptor because I tried that last time. Mosasaurus tail, yeah. Not T Rex, Pterodactyl. I think it's Steg. Oh, are you kidding me? I ran out of time. Oh, 
All right, 11 and 15, How, how's that? Still silver, okay. Try one more time, see if I can get any better. Eventually I start to learn things and it gets me through. I ran out of time on a couple of them, which is no good. so weird how is that not a spine it looks exactly like a spine well, that was terrible let's try insects again I need to do something else to, to ease my mind there dragonfly Copia caterpillar. Tarantula. Ghost mantis. Orchid mantis, sorry. Orchid, orchid mantis. Um, magnolia green jumper. Moth. Leaf beetle. Olive wing. Sure, that's an olive wing. I don't know that one. Tiger beetle. A man faced stink bug. Oh. oh! I second guess myself when I shouldn't have done on that one. I'm gonna try that one more time and we'll go back to fossils and I'll see if there's anything in the middle actually that I didn't do. No, I did all of those. It is, it's down to insects and fossils now, everything else we did. Tarantula. Uh, Crocopia. Dragonfly. Orchid. Praying. <laughs> Moth. Saddleback. Harpless. Little wood. Tiger. Man face. Spice bush swallowtail. Janetta Forrester. No? Okay. Um Birdwing. Oh, uh, this is the one I get all the time. Tiger swallowtail. Yay! And surprise, surprise! Fossils is the last one standing. This is why we need several days of this. All right, skull. Spine. Skull. Leg. How is that not a leg? It looks exactly like a leg to me. Mosasaurus, no? Brontosaurus tail. Mammoth torso. Triceratops also. Brontosaurus hip. Mm, OK. 
Okay, 11 and 15 again. I just need 12. 12 would probably get me through. But I'm just so bad at it. <sighs> okay. Skull. Mosasaurus torso. Spine. Pterodactyl. Tor I can't believe I did that. It's a skull. Why did I put... Torso down. I'm getting tired, actually, I think. Steg. Oh, good guess. Um... I thought maybe Tyrannosaurus because it was standing up. Too many like torsos and things to choose between there. Oh, I'll try it again. I'll keep trying. This is how we got through last time. I eventually just got a lucky hit. Made lucky guesses. Ronto spine. Calamus torso. Spine. Torso. Skull. It's a tail. What earth is that? I don't even tell what part of the body that was. Mammoth. Definitely a tail. That's definitely a tail. A mosasaurus, I think. There are two tails there. Hmm. Mammoths don't have claws, so steg or gallimus steg. No, okay. Pterodactyl leg. Ah, uh, pterodactyl arm. Alright, I think we're done. I think we won. Oh, finally. Oh, it takes so long to do those trivias. Okay, and like I said, I said I'd just do the trivia one night and then I'd come down another night to do the rest of it. Hey, where are you going? Talk to me. It's only like half past seven. What's wrong with you people? Hey Jim, back in my day we had proper winter fare still. This one isn't half bad. At least he admits to that. Those little critters here, they've got a mind of their own. Nature's a funny thing, isn't it? Kenny is zoning out. Give Kenny a coffee. How did you know? I like this, thanks. No, you were zoning out. I thought you'd need one. I wasn't expecting a gift today. What a nice surprise. But I can skip this stone further than anyone else here. This town was already a snack, but with these holiday sprinkles on top, bam, it's a full-on buffet dessert. It's all about the presentation, she lab. Have a coffee, Raj. He thinks it's beautiful. Wonderful. I figured I'd stay near the clinic, just in case anyone needs help. Nice of you. Thank you for the great gift, she lab. Raphael? I am. It's just nice being here with everyone. A little heart there, but it's a bit overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, I have this sashimi. There you go. Thank you for the she lab sashimi. Um, uh, never mind. You know what I mean. It works so well with my name that. It's hilarious. It's so pretty here. I'm going to see if Dad can buy lights like these for my room. Thank you, Miss She Lab. You here for business or fun, She Lab? I'm clocked in, alright? The town's got me on payroll. Would you look at that? Thank you, thank you. Oh, they all like sashimi. Uh, I'm not supposed to be giving all of them sashimi. 
I'm cool, but maybe it was better that I gave that to Valentina. The things here don't exactly come with a budget-friendly price tag. Uh, don't consume it. I'm supposed to be giving it as a gift. The Suki. Thought I'd like this. It's perfect. <laughs> Another one being all funny. Thank you for this. Been baking a lot more lately. Nothing's turned out good. Bummer. Shuki's pretty upset about Antonio. I'd stay away from her today if I were you. Looks yummy, thanks. So much to do, so little time. I wish I could split myself in two sometimes. The only person not to give coffee to is uh, Leah. Hope this wasn't too much trouble. I accept. Thank you. I named my coffee shop after me, after my full name. Haha, <laughs> no, yeah, truth. My full name is Raja. What does your name mean? It means king. No, yeah, seriously. That makes sense. Hey, Mark, just trying to blend in. What is it? Thanks, Sheilab, you're kind. Takes a bit of time. This tea's my lifeline. Keeping me warm without it, I'd probably turn into an icicle by tomorrow. Well, you have some coffee then. Very kind, thank you. Probably quite likes tea. This view, the atmosphere, so beautiful, isn't it, darling? Unlike you, you beautiful soul. Ah, oh, thank you, Nina. You're so nice to me. This is marvellous, darling. Thank you. Marvellous. Oh, look at all these pretty things. I can't decide. Thank you so much. Dipper was sharing stories about the days when they used to perform. So many funny anecdotes. I haven't seen Dipper yet. That's so kind, thank you. I just see who's here and give them stuff. Nothing like a hot cup of tea on a cold day. Well, maybe a good company. Care to join? Yeah, I'll give you a coffee to do it with. Oh, this is so nice of you. I promise I'll put it to good use. I'm pretty sure I gave you coffee earlier. Yeah, let's go fishing too, she lab. Now my favourite farmer is here. This fair is complete. Thank you, you're very generous. There's two gifts of the week. That's everyone. Right, I can now go shopping and have a little look at what's uh, on offer. I might try and redecorate the inside of my house if I can. Can I? Oh, okay, no, the shop is over here. Oh, yes. Ben shop. Stone talk and Javanese themed flooring. These don't look very good things. Kombucha, fermented tea leaves, drink in moderation. I could probably make that at the thing, yeah. Where's the, can I not get the shop? Um, I don't seem to be able to, only Ben's shop. Is it too late? Maybe it's too late. Well, I'll go home. <laughs> I love Raphael with his sparklers at this one. It's so lovely. So most people have had their present for the week now. I could, I think most of them can have two, so I could probably go and do the same tomorrow and then finish off the rest of the tasks. And then will be all good for the winter festival then which will be amazing i think though we'll do the rest of the winter festival next time we had a wonderful time automating stuff um nothing special than a burrito full of locally grown ingredients here's a recipe for how to make your own hope it's helpful see you soon charles okay then let me just check that there was nothing popping up for the fish or anything like that. I think I may have checked it earlier. But I am paranoid that I'll miss something. There are some things that are, uh, that are there for a date range that is very narrow. But I think we're okay. So I'm gonna go to bed and then we're gonna... Oh, did I sell everything today? I hope I did. There's some things still to sell actually. I'll sell them before I go to bed because I've got time. Look, I got the top of my house now. That's wonderful. From like the outside. I used almost all the coffee up in presents. That's amazing. 
We did a great job with presents. I'm hoping that we've got a good uh, amount of people that have gone up a star. But I'll see that when I go to bed now. So I got a load, I got a hundred merit points. I don't think the winter festival has an actual festival, so you just earn them from the, the games. So I got relationship increases with Ben, Charles, Mark, Nina, Suki, Sunny, and that's it. That's good though. Made 15,000. 9,000 off all the goats, cheese wheels, bell pepper juices. Yeah, this factory is going to make me a lot of money. Almonds, pickled corn. The juice stuff makes more as well, so that's really good. The cheese wheels, the cloth. Just all of that is going to come through each day and we're going to make a lot of money now. It's going to be so good. So good. There's a festival running today. Consider checking it out, but we're not going to because we'll check the rest of that out next time so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome